Have you ever wondered what would happen if you died in space? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? The vast unending expanse of the cosmos and you, alone and lifeless. There's something both profoundly intriguing and terrifying about this concept. What does the universe do to a body no longer tethered to the pulse of life? As we delve into this topic, we'll explore the science and speculation involved in answering this question. Well, the answer might be more chilling than you think. Space, a vast, cold vacuum, is not a hospitable environment for any form of life. Imagine a place where the temperatures swing wildly between extremes, from the scorching heat of direct sunlight to the freezing cold of shadow. This is the reality of the void of space. The lack of an atmosphere to regulate temperature creates an environment that is hostile to life as we know it. Now, let's consider what would happen if a human body were to suddenly find itself in this harsh environment, specifically, what would happen immediately after death. The lack of oxygen is the first and most immediate problem. Without a supply of oxygen, the body's cells would rapidly start to die. But this is just the beginning of the story. In the void of space there are no bacteria or other organisms that would normally assist in the decomposition of a body after death. This means that, contrary to what happens on Earth, a body in space would not decompose in the usual way, instead it would become a sort of space mummy, perfectly preserved in the vacuum. The extreme cold would also play a part in this preservation. Without the warming effect of an atmosphere, the body would freeze solid in a matter of moments. This freezing process would halt the action of any remaining enzymes in the body's cells, further preventing decomposition. But it's not just the cold that would preserve the body. The vacuum of space would also cause the body's fluids to boil off, even at temperatures well below the normal boiling point on Earth. This process, known as sublimation, would dry out the body, leaving it desiccated and mummified. All of these factors combine to make space a remarkably effective preserver of bodies. But it's not a pleasant thought, is it? The idea of becoming a frozen, mummified body floating eternally in the void of space. So, in the first few moments after death, your body would freeze and become a perfectly preserved mummy. But that's not the end of the story, space has more surprises in store for the deceased. Let's delve into the peculiarities that might occur if a human body were left in the vacuum of space. There are two primary factors to consider here. Radiation and the lack of gravity. Firstly, let's talk about radiation. In the protective cocoon of our atmosphere, we're shielded from most of the harmful radiation that space has to offer. But once you're out there, it's a different story. The deceased body would be exposed to a constant barrage of cosmic radiation. This radiation would penetrate the body, causing the cells to break down. Over time, this process would essentially mummify the body. Mummification in space isn't like what you'd see in an ancient Egyptian tomb. It's a far more complex process. The radiation would cause the body's water content to slowly evaporate, leaving behind a dried-out husk. But unlike the mummies of old, a body in space wouldn't decay. There's no oxygen or bacteria to aid in decomposition, so the body would remain eerily preserved. Now let's talk about gravity, or rather the lack thereof. On Earth, gravity keeps us grounded. It's what makes things fall to the ground when we drop them. But in space, there's no gravity to pull the body down. The body would simply float carried along by whatever momentum it had at the time of death. It would continue on this path indefinitely, unless it was pulled in by the gravity of a nearby object, like a planet or a star. Imagine that, a human body, mummified by the harsh radiation of space, floating endlessly through the cosmos. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? A body in space would become a silent testament to the vastness of the universe, a reminder of our small place within it. In the end, your body would become a floating, mummified relic of your existence. But where would your body end up? That's a question that has intrigued both scientists and laymen alike. The answer, however, isn't as straightforward as one might think. In the vast expanse of the universe, there are countless possibilities. If your body were close to a planet's gravitational pull, it might be drawn into its orbit, eventually burning up in the atmosphere like a shooting star. This might seem like a spectacular ending, but the reality could be far less glamorous. The intense heat and pressure would reduce your body to ashes, leaving no trace behind. In contrast, if you died far from any celestial body, your body could float indefinitely in the vacuum of space. Frozen and preserved, you would become a silent voyager, drifting endlessly among the stars. 
It's a thought that's as eerie as it is fascinating. Even more startling is the possibility that your body could collide with a spacecraft. Space is vast, but with increasing human activity, the odds of such an occurrence are not entirely negligible. Imagine, a spacecraft on a mission to Mars or beyond suddenly encountering an unexpected obstacle. You. Yet, perhaps the most humbling thought is that your body, just like everything else in the universe, is made up of stardust. So, even in death, you would not be separate from the cosmos, but a part of it. In the end, your final resting place could be anywhere in the vast universe. So, what have we learned about dying in space? Well, it's certainly not like anything we experience here on Earth. Immediately after death, the harsh conditions of space take hold. Your body wouldn't decompose as it would on Earth. Instead, it would undergo a process called mummification, essentially freeze-drying due to the extreme cold and vacuum. Then there's the constant bombardment of cosmic radiation, which would slowly shred your DNA over time. Without the force of gravity, your body would continue drifting in the vast expanse of space, possibly for millions or even billions of years. Your final resting place? It could be anywhere from the burning surface of a star to the icy depths of a distant comet. While the thought of dying in space is undoubtedly chilling, it also offers a unique perspective into the relentless and unforgiving nature of the cosmos. While it's a chilling thought, it's also a fascinating glimpse into the mysteries of the universe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narration.